Hello again guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today we are looking at some of the scenery that we are making up for our Necromunda campaign that we're going to do with some guys and a filthy mage in the new year. If you haven't already checked out their podcast, the link's below. We have put it in a few other videos, so check them out. They're pretty funny. Um, but anyway, back to our nerd base that... Uh, Blair ramblings, that's the word I was looking for. As you can see in the background, the festive season is upon us. Ugh, bar humbug and whatnot. Um, but let's get down to nerd stuff, as I said, before going on to a tangent, which I'm now on another tangent about the previous tangent. Hmm. Anyway, I've still got my cold, so I apologise for any cold-based activities. First thing we're going to look at, though, is the scenery that comes in the Necromunda box. As you can see, I've started to actually get it painted now. I'm really, really liking the look. And also, what I'm going to do, because I like you guys so much, uh, except Alan, if he's watching. Um, I don't like him that much. Uh, sorry, <laughs> guys. Um, is tell you how I painted them. So, first thing I did, because I'm that kind of guy, is I got some black undercoat. And for that, I used Army Painter Black Matte Spray. Sprayed it all black. So, it was... Well, black. Then I sprayed Army Painter Bolt Gun over the top. Um, with a very, very light coat from quite a distance. Because I didn't want it to go completely shiny. I just wanted the silver to catch it. I thought that worked quite well. And then what I did was I used um, the Games Workshop Orange Wash. And I coated the whole model in that. And I used a sponge to do it. So I put a little bit on a palette. And then I sponged it on. Then I used Agrax Earthshade. And I did the exact same thing again. You can use a brown wash of any kind. I sponged that on. And then I took a large dry brush. And I went to town on that bad boy. As you can see. And I did Bolt Gun. Then Iron Breaker. And then I coated the whole thing in Null Oil Gloss. And then after that I've given it a dry brush of uh, Silver Storm. I believe it's called the lightest of the silvers in the Games Workshop range. And this is kind of the effect you can get. I still want to do some more detailing on it. Some oxiding rust and such. Um, here's the different things. I want quite a uniformed look. So I've gone for a very quick, very simple process that I can replicate. Um, I hope it's got kind of that dungy, gungy, bleh, kind of rusty feel to it that I was going for I, you know, I wouldn't want to miss the mark hugely with that one but I like them I think you know other than picking out a few highlights and things like that maybe bits of graffiti uh, that kind of thing I, I, I'm i calling them done um, yeah maybe pick out the pipes and stuff separately the lights and things like that um, so yeah I'm quite happy with where I've got to on those next thing we're going to look at is some of the cities of death terrain i've started putting that together in a necromundi style way um so let's have a look at what we've got here obviously we've still got all the tt combat stuff and we will be adding a lot more mdf uh red beam designs have got some really beautiful stuff at the moment there's blackjack legacy have actually just done a video uh reviewing some of it so i'm going to pop that link in the description below I definitely think if you're looking for Necromunda Terrain, you should look and check that out. There's actually 10% off using a code which you get either in the video or in the description. I can't remember which, or maybe both. Um, yeah, I don't sleep a lot, uh, as anyone who knows me will know. And so quite often I don't remember where I've seen things, or if I did really see them. Um, but yeah, Andy's pretty cool. Um, he'll be able to help you out. So I've made a couple of little scattery bits. Again, these are just grey at the moment, but I'm, I think I'm going to spray them blue. Um, so spray them black, then spray them blue, and then I'm going to do kind of a similar effect as these. Um, so they're still rusted and stuff, obviously rustier further down the bottom and as they go up more of the blue, but so that you can definitely tell that they were sort of, that they're metal, that they're metallic with a paint over them which has in fact chipped off and the reason i'm going for that is because i think just nothing but rust would look really really boring um I've done these what i'm going for is just little ruiny bits that can go around the stuff we've already got um so again stuff like this um i have however run out of i've got loads more walls left but i've run out of flooring tiles 
Um, so if you guys are buying any of these packs, um, remember that, you know, be sparing with your flows um, or be creative with regards to them because otherwise you'll run out like I have. Um, here we go. Like, this isn't unusual uh, for me in terms of using this scenery to play Necromunda. When I still worked for Games Workshop, um, myself and one of my really good friends at the time, Chris Selby, Selby for short, um, he, he's a good kid, uh, we bought a shed load of this stuff, enough to fill three or four four by four boards. Um, as you can see here, we've got ramps. I still want to add some ladders and things like that just to these to spruce it up. But I've got lots of these open bits here. So, you know, you can shoot at people, got the pipes on there. And we're going to mix this as well with a lot of the new Games Workshop terrain. Um, they've got a lot of really good pipes, um, a lot of good vents, a lot of, like, the chem plants and stuff like that. There's all that new mechanic of stuff that is absolutely beautiful. Um, and we're kind of going to mix all this together. So we've got all these little different ones here. We're going to put a little balcony on there. Um, so people can come out their door, otherwise they're just going to fall to their brutal, brutal death. Um, but yeah, so I can't recommend this kind of scenery, you know, highly enough. Um, one thing I would suggest, though, is if you go on eBay or somewhere like that, you can pick up big chunks of the bits that people aren't using. So you find loads of these pipes, and they're perfect for Necromunda. Um, it's like here, I've got that, that's two pipes with a curvy bit but if you went curvy bit pipe curvy bit you could then go straight again and you can have your pipes go off all over it's just because i want it to be a bit more modular um you can also pick up these flooring bits pretty cheap as well i think it's like two pound for one free postage something like that and i'm sure your bits and kits and place like that i've got them as well um one thing I did think, though, is you could buy some pretty thick plastic card from your local hobby store, like for myself, it's Hobbycraft, or those type of places, and you could probably make yourself some extra flooring, or if you've got the old Games Workshop modular movement trays, we used to use them quite a lot for the flooring, because they're even squared. A lot for you guys to think about, I know, you're thinking, I only wanted to watch because I saw the title Necromunda, I thought maybe you'd be showing off new models. No, it's scenery based today, so as you can see, we've got our first set almost painted. This stuff's getting built, we've still got a big stack of stuff to build. Um, we're going to build a lot of bits where it's a lot of the walls and stuff, um, as if like things have been blown away. Um, and we'll use some of the rivets and stuff so you'll have stuff going diagonally up and things like that. It's all going to look very, very cool once it's all done. So, like, you guys, if you want to keep an eye on our progress with regards to this, you know what to do. Click the like, click the subscribe. There's a little bell. Hit that. Oh, Alan will be gutted that he didn't get to make the bell reference. But, yeah, follow us on our social media, at Rage Against Dice. You know, all that promoting stuff that we have to do at the end of a video. As you can tell, I'm still super hyped about Necromunda. We have had a few people asking, um, and this is just like a quick sidebar, we have had a lot of people asking about what's happening with Rumble Slam and The Walking Dead All Out War. They are definitely both coming back in January. It's just because we don't have a lot of time at the moment. We are learning Necromunda as a new system. We're learning Shade Spire. I'm going to be teaching Alan Drop Zone and Drop Fleet. So we've got a lot on at the moment. So it's not that Rumble Slam that we've stopped. Not that we've stopped the Walking Dead All Out War. It's just we're having a little break from it while we get up to speed on some other content. So if you did what, if you were watching primarily for our Rumble Slam and Walking Dead stuff, don't worry, they are coming back. And in the meantime, maybe give a check out to some of the other stuff we do. Maybe you'll find a new game you like. Um, Tombstone, uh, Legends of the Old West... Necromunda, Shade Spire, Blood Bowl, you know, there's plenty of stuff we've covered in the past and we're going to cover in the future. Um, but yeah, I don't think I can talk to you guys anymore. Check the links below, as I said. Um, some of them might interest you, some of them might not. I don't know, use your own people. Anyway, Merry Christmas to anyone who's watching. If you've got your tree up, cool. If like I would be if I didn't have kids and a partner and you haven't got your tree up, even better. Um, but yeah, as always, guys, pray to the Dice Gods, hope they smile upon you and take care. Bye now.